English wetlands are home to a huge variety of flowering plants. Which is surprising, because the soil in wetlands such as these is extremely poor in nutrients. There is a plant, however, that has evolved a way to make up for this shortfall by consuming the flesh of animals. This is the story of Drosera Anglica, the English Sundew. Unfurling from a central rosette, sundews produce dozens of leaves, one after another, in a season. And it's their leaves that enable sundews to be such effective predators. Once fully formed, they become instantly recognisable, with their tentacles tipped with red bulbs and covered in what appears to be glistening dew. The trap is set. All it needs now is a victim. The wetlands are also home to a variety of insects. Many use these waters as a nursery for their young. This is the larva of a mosquito. It has spent the last two weeks living underwater, feeding on algae. And now it is about to emerge as a fully formed adult. Metamorphosis can be a demanding process. What she needs now is energy. She'll have to go in search of sugar. And the sundews appear to provide this. The dew on the tips of the tentacles is sticky, trapping the insect's legs and wings. Any struggle just makes it worse. But the sundew is not a passive hunter. This struggle encourages the plant to wrap its prey, pulling it towards the centre of the leaf, where its digestion is most efficient. By secreting powerful enzymes, the plant is able to break down the bodies of any insect it ensnares, turning them into a nitrogen-rich meal that will make all the difference to the plant's survival. 